In this video, I'll explain how to convert centimeters to diopters, and vice versa. I'll also explain some relevant equations using differentials, and just explain how myopia changes over time as it gets lower or higher with respect to centimeter values. So basically just some more foundational knowledge that you can use throughout your my myopia reduction journey. It'll be useful, trust me. You might have used an online calculator to convert your centimeters to diopters, but the equation is actually pretty simple. It's just 100 over x, where x is the centimeter value or your distance to blur, and that equals diopters. So for example, if your distance to blur was 15, it's just 100 over 15, and that, that's a very poor five, just trust me, that's a five, and that equals 6.66. Now the sign isn't there, but you just have to apply a bit of common sense and add it in. That's just how the equation works. It's a bit of a foible. So once you're at that point, you could just round it up. All right, minus 6.75. And that is effectively your myopia you'd use when quoting, because usually myopia goes up in 0.25 increments. So pretty sweet. Now, how about the other way around? If we rearrange the equation, we can find out the distance to blur given a certain level of myopia. So we just flip the equation, put the D here, put the X there, just some algebra. And you can find out your distance to blur given a certain level of myopia. So if you had, for example, minus 6.5 myopia, you would do this, 100 over minus 6.5 and punching that into a calculator real quick. That would give you a centimeter value of minus 15.38 centimeters. Now, obviously you can't have negative centimeters, so just pretend that doesn't exist yet again. So if you have 6.5 myopia, minus 6.5 value, your distance to blur will be 15.38 centimeters. As has been said, centimeters and diopters are just distance to blur. That's really all there is to it. Let me explain a little bit about how diopters work. Not all diopters are created equal. Diopters at a low level of myopia are very different to diopters at a high level. For example, if we use this equation, we can figure out our distance to blur at a bunch of levels of myopia. So if you're at minus one, if we plug this into the equation, 100 over minus 1, forget about signs, you will have a distance to blur of 100 centimeters. At minus 1.5, that'll be 66 centimeters. That's a pretty big difference. That's the difference of 34 centimeters right there. That's huge. But that's just a 0 0.5 change. At high levels of myopia, for example, minus 9 and minus 9.5. Your values for centimeters respectively will be 11 centimeters and 10.5 centimeters. So for the same change in diopters, you've barely changed any of your centimeters. You changed by 0.5, which is a far cry from when you were in low myopia, where that would change 34 centimeters. So, what does this mean? If you're measuring your centimeters using a tape measure, oftentimes if you've got higher myopia, you'll get a more accurate result if you measure with differentials because you can reduce your myopia level effectively wearing differentials, go to a lower myopia area where the centimeter values are more distinct between one another. If you want to measure your centimeters using differentials, it's pretty straightforward. All you're going to do is you're going to wear your differentials. So let's start out with this I. You're going to have to excuse my drawing skills. That's your I. Let's say your I is minus 8. And you're going to wear these differentials. And they are going to be minus 6.5. Now, we just do a little bit of basic math. And we figure out exactly what your I is. But we also account for the lens. So let's say... With these, 
you measure, actually, forget this. Okay, we, we don't know the myopia level of your eye. That's kind of the whole point. <laughs> That's the kind of the whole point of this. But we do know your differentials is minus 6.5 and we're trying to find out your eye's myopia. Let's say you measure 42 centimeters with this lens. Well, let's plug it into the equation. So up here, we would do 100 over 42. And we're gonna add on a sign, just like we said to do earlier. 100 over 42. So we just add on the sign, just we just do it. That's gonna be minus 2.38. Now you're wearing minus 6.5 lenses. So all we're gonna do is add these numbers together. So minus 2.38, we add minus 6.5. And that gives us a answer of do do do. It gives us an answer of minus 8.88. So rounding up, this would be a myopia value of minus nine. So what we're saying is that if you measure 42 centimeters and you were wearing these differentials, your real myopia value would be rounded up to, well, your real myopia value would be minus nine after doing all the uh, equations. And finally, Let's say you have a given level of myopia. So we'll bring back our eyeball and he's minus eight. And again, you're gonna wear a lens and it's gonna be minus 6.5. So in this case, how would you figure out your distance to blur? Well, you just do some more uh, subtraction. So you would do minus eight minus minus 6.5. And that, what an equal sign. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's, let's fix this. That would equal minus 1.5. And then you just throw it back into this equation up here. So you would do 100 divided by minus 1.5. And that equals a value of minus 6. 6.6 6 centimeters. Actually, we already did it up here. We get rid of the minus sign and there you go. So that's how to convert centimeters to diopters, diopters to centimeters, and then how to find out centimeters to diopters while wearing differentials, and how to figure out your distance to blur if you have a given level myopia and a given level of differentials differential strength. I hope this helped. Diopters are kind of handy to get your head around and this knowledge should be useful. It is very useful for me. Thanks for watching.